method to make bells is going to be obviously your money trees so for money trees in animal crossing um every day once per day you're going to have access to those glowing spots on the ground um since you have to run around obviously looking around your island for it's random uh wherever on your island i think it can be up uh in the cliff areas too but um for i think that may only be if you have inclines so i'm not exactly sure but um basically you're going to be looking around once you find the glowing spot you can dig right there and that is your 1000 bell uh bag that you dig up and then you can put some whatever uh, amount of bells that you would like to grow the tree now the thing is for money trees um depending on how much you put in depends on how much you can get out of it so I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard to put 10,000 bells in. You may not really know why, but 10,000 bells is actually a very smart investment because you put in 10,000, you're always going to get uh, 30,000 bells in the end, which is a 20,000 profit per tree. Now you can find seven trees per week, which means one per day. So that means you're going to get 140,000 bells in a week if you go do your money tree by investing 10,000 in each time. So uh, let's let's look at every single different amount of bells you can put in and how much you can actually get out of it. So if you put in between 100 bells and 1,000 bells, you will always, no matter what, if you put in 500, 100, 1,000, whatever, you will always get three 1,000 bell bags. So if you want to invest, if you don't have very much on you and you and you don't want to accidentally close up the uh, hole that you dug up for the money tree, then make sure that you plant a hundred bells. In that case, you will make you will you will guaranteed uh, make three thousand bells, or you'll make two thousand nine hundred bells. But you'll get three thousand bells uh, for only putting in one hundred. Whereas you can put in a thousand bells, and you're only going to make two thousand profit because you're going to be getting three thousand total and three thousand minus one thousand, two thousand. So now, if you plant two thousand to 9,000 bells. The reason why we jump right to 2,000 is because obviously you can't put in 1,100 because 1,000 separates from the uh, 100 bells or 500, whatever amount of bells that you have in between. So you have to go straight to 2,000. If you plant in 2,000, it's actually, there's two different things that can happen. Uh, you could get three of whatever the number you planted was, or you could get three of the minimal amount of 1,000, which you could get in this instance. So basically, if you plant three bags of 2,000 bells, you could you have a 30% chance that you will get 6,000 out of it. So two, three 2,000 bell bags. But there's also a 70% chance that you'll only get three 1,000 bell bags. So technically, if you plant 2,000, you will always profit um you will guaranteed get 1000 bells profit but you could actually make a profit of fishes 4, and bugs that you guys can catch that go for a lot of bells so as you guys should know winter is starting inside the southern hemisphere and inside the northern hemisphere um summer is starting to kick in so that means that there are a lot of new fishes and bugs that are appearing on your island because of the new month of june in total, there are six new bugs that the people inside the northern hemisphere can run into. The six bugs that you guys can catch are the emperor butterfly, firefly, drone beetle, goliath beetle, the rainbow stag, and the mosquito. So if you guys don't know the firefly, you guys can only catch inside of June. The drone beetle you guys can catch inside from June to August. The goliath beetle is from June to September. The rainbow stag is also from June to September. And the mosquito is also from June to September. The emperor beetle you guys can find from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. The firefly you guys can find from 7 p.m. to 4 p.m. The drone beetle you guys can find it all day so don't worry about that. Um, the goliath beetle you guys can find inside night at 5 p.m. to 8 a.m. The rainbow stag you guys can find from 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. The mosquito you guys can find from 5 p.m. to 4 a.m. Some of them are flying around, some of them are on trees. Obviously, the emperor butterfly, the rainbow stag, and the mosquito are all flying around, and the beetles are usually on the trees. But the ones that are the most important is the goliath beetle because he goes for the most amount of bells. He goes for 8,000 bells, so if you guys find a few of these and you guys sell them, you guys will be making a lot of profit. 
not only are there a lot of new bugs that you guys can catch you guys can also find a bunch of fish and sharks that you guys can catch inside of this game so since the month of june just started as i said there are a lot of new fish as well one of the fish that you guys should be catching is um a giant snakehead which doesn't go for a lot 5500 that's like a good amount but like that's not a lot a lot so i wouldn't like recommend going after this one the gar you guys can get for around six thousand which is a little bit better but still i wouldn't recommend going after this one because there are a lot of other um fish and stuff that you guys can get for um you guys can sell for a lot more bells and sharks and stuff but if you guys are looking for these fish they can only be found inside of pond ponds and not inside of like the ocean and stuff now for the people inside the northern hemisphere you guys can find a cool amount of sharks like um the saw shark the hammerhead shark the great white shark the whale shark and these go for a lot of bells so i would definitely recommend like trying to um get some of these fish the saw shark is very um a good amount of bells that you guys can make off of it Twelve thousand that you guys can find from 4 p.m to 9 a.m inside of the sea so i would just recommend like fishing around there and then the most important one that you guys need to get is the great white shark which is going for 15,000 bells if you guys find a couple of these and also there's something called the dorado i don't know how to pronounce that properly but it will be inside of the river and that is also going for 15,000 bells so if you guys can literally like get a good amount of dordoros or whatever they're called and you guys get a good amount of sharks and stuff you guys can be making a lot of bells inside of this game like the whale shark the great white shark the hammerhead shark and all of these um fishes and bugs and stuff you guys can be using this to make a lot of um bells so i would just recommend um fishing um around june and stuff because this is a very good month to fish and make bells also i would recommend um trying to catch some beetles like i said try to catch the goliath beetle which is around um like a very very good um bug to catch just because it goes for a lot of um bells like eight thousand is pretty good for a beetle um which you guys can find from 5 p.m to 8 a.m um so just i would recommend going inside of your game you guys can time travel obviously but uh, i don't recommend doing that but anyways i just hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys can just get a bunch of fishes just make sure you fish there's a lot of new fishes um i'm just going to quickly name them all the giant snakehead the tilapia the piranha the arowana the dorado the gar the all these all these fish are arapaima um the salded i don't know how to pronounce these words ribbon eel the saw shark the hammerhead shark the great white shark the whale shark the sucker fish all of these fish are just like there's so many new fish um from june to september there's some fish from june to october like you guys can just be um fishing this whole entire month and then there's plenty of new bugs like um the like that you guys can catch now like mosquitoes and stuff which i, I would not recommend catching mosquitoes or like fireflies or drone beetles because they don't go for a lot of bells if you guys want to make bells remember the emperor butterfly the goliath beetle and this um rainbow stag go for a good amount of bells um when it comes to bugs but when it comes to fish obviously the sharks are going to be a lot more and also the gar actually goes for a good amount of money six thousand isn't bad um but the arowana that's for ten thousand inside of the river but inside of the sea if you guys are just um, fishing inside the sea you guys will find more shark because shark tend to um tend to spawn on the sea so if you guys get um like you guys can just make tons of bells off this you just keep um fishing keep um keep um catching bugs with your net and stuff so i really hope you guys enjoy this video um just i hope you guys can hopefully catch some bugs and hopefully catch some fish and like even the river is good because some of the fishes inside of the river actually go for a lot of bells too like i said like um some of the fishes inside the river actually go for like ten thousand and like fifteen thousand like the dorado and um the arapaima or whatever it's called goes for ten thousand just 
catch a bunch of fishes, give up, try to get some fossils, try to sell as much as you can if you guys are beginners inside of this game. So yeah, I just hope you guys can just catch bugs, catch things that you guys will need. Um, I'm going to put a list up for you guys of everything that you guys need to know um, about this. There's going to be like a... And maybe inside the description down below i'll try to add like the times and stuff um if i have time but i'll make sure that you guys um understand it there's a there's bunch of websites about this if you guys just want to look at it really quickly but like these beetles and these sharks are going for a lot of bells so i really recommend you guys catch them and you guys try to just just try to farm for as many as you guys can it doesn't really matter sell them and you guys will be making a lot of profit some sharks are cool to have inside your house so if you guys want some cool sharks then just keep them inside of your house um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day 